So why the heck in a time period in 2021, when I own a PlayStation 5, why the heck am I pulling out this thing here and playing with the original GameCube that I had way back when? The answer honestly is really quite simple. Sometimes there's more to gaming than just techs and specs. All that is fun, all that is great. I love the technical aspect, but sometimes you just wanna open up the disc, put in, put in a game, close it, and just enjoy and just want to have fun. And back in the day when the GameCube was out, gaming, the whole gaming landscape was quite different. So it was all about just enjoying, having fun. There's tons of great experiences on the GameCube. So surprisingly, in 2021, I've been spending a lot of time playing the GameCube. But how the heck do I play with the GameCube in 2021? This system came out with regular composite cables. There were some component cables that came out for the Nintendo GameCube, but those are extremely expensive and extremely difficult to find. So the way that I do it, I play via HDMI and I play using this thing right here. So this is called the HDMI Cube. It comes in various different colors and it plugs in. It's a plug and play solution that plugs into the AV input on your Nintendo GameCube. Now that's really important because not all GameCubes have that. The original release of the GameCubes have the AV input in the back, but not all GameCubes do. The, the more later generation GameCubes do not. So this needs an original model, which is like a DOL001 is what I believe it is. Uh, you can check that and verify that on the, on the actual website for this, the HDMI Cube. So basically, it's very easy to find though, if you have an original GameCube, you may end up having this original model. This one was there for a very long time. If you want to buy it used now, these are extremely cheap. And the way that you'll be able to tell is if you take a look at the back of the console, you're going to have this port right here. This is the AV port. And if your GameCube has the AV port, then you are good to go. It's just a plug and play solution. And the digital AV output is all you need. Now, some people might, might say, you know, why not consider emulating? Why not consider getting a Nintendo Wii with backwards compatibility so you can still play the original games with the original GameCube controller? And all that is fine, but sometimes, you know, you just want to play with the original console that you may already own, and you want to get the best native quality that you can from the console. And that's genuinely what I enjoy. I wanted to be able to hook up my Nintendo GameCube via HDMI and use the actual hardware to get the absolute best picture that is possible by this machine. So essentially after plugging in this adapter, you are gonna be playing at a resolution of 480p. There's other options you can play in like 480i, but for the best quality, you can play with 480p. Now, HDMI Cube is just one of the many HDMI solutions here. This actually happens to be the cheapest solution. And in terms of like its build quality, it's not fantastic. It almost looks like it's 3D printed, but it's actually quite sturdy. And once it goes into the GameCube, you have to kind of shake with a lot of force and you still won't be able to get it out. It's very secure fitting and it has one cable that connects to the back. And this is a mini HDMI to full HDMI cable that connects from your Nintendo GameCube over to your TV. Now, the big competitor to this is the Eon GC HD, something like that. And that one you can get on Amazon. You can get it in just a couple of days with Amazon Prime. It's about $150. This is $89.99. So this is one of the cheaper solutions to playing Nintendo GameCube via HDMI natively. So when you buy this, you have to go on their website. It takes a little bit of time for them to actually ship it because I think they actually create it as the orders come in. But the company is pretty fantastic. Shipping doesn't take too long. And what do you get for $89.99? What you essentially get is you get this HDMI cube adapter, you end up getting the mini HDMI to full HDMI cable, and you end up getting an instruction manual, and you end up getting a remote. And with the remote, you can kind of program certain settings, you can have uh, scan lines on, off, things like that. Very simple settings, but it comes, with, it comes with the remote. And that's pretty much all you get, and that's all you really need in terms of the HDMI cube. And that's one of the best things about it. It's a plug and play solution where you don't have to think. You basically hook this thing up via power the way you would normally would have. This connects to the back of the GameCube. You plug in your HDMI cable, HDMI cable goes right into the TV. And then after that, you don't need to worry. You just pop in the disc and it's a plug and play solution. The other cool thing about this, even though I don't really mess around with it, but if you open up these screws, the website basically teaches you how you can kind of plug in something and you can upgrade the firmware but it requires a little bit of, I think like soldering, you gotta get some little pins and connect to it. They do have a 
pro version of the same exact thing, which I think is about $20 more. And that one is apparently a little bit easier to upgrade the firmware. But to be honest, I mean, I've had this for almost two years now. They do provide updates, but I have had zero issues so far. So if it ain't broke, I'm not gonna fix it. So I just kind of leave it as is. This is exactly how I got it stock almost two years ago. It comes in a variety of colors. I happen to just choose this color. You can get colors that kind of match the GameCube. At the end of the day, it connects to the back I'm never, I never look at it, I never see it. So for me, it doesn't really matter what kind of color it is. You see that the paint job that they use is, isn't really the best, like it's not screaming high quality, but at the end of the day, if it does what, what it's intended to do and doesn't ruin the GameCube, which I can verify over the last two years, never had an issue with this GameCube. This is my original GameCube that I bought way back in the day. That's to me is all I really need. So that's that when it comes to the HD, HD My Cube. But what about the gaming actually? How, how does the gaming work and how, do, how does it feel? Now, first things first, you have to realize that with all these HDMI solutions, not just the HD My Cube, is that it's not upscaling your picture. So the GameCube is able to, the best output that I can really put out is 480p. And a lot of games actually support this progressive scan, which makes the, the, the quality look a little bit better. Your TV, your 4K TV, if you have one, will naturally try to upscale the picture. But in terms of the picture, you can definitely smooth out the picture a little bit, but it's not gonna be leaps and bounds. It's not gonna super impress you. You can also play in two different aspect ratios, four by three or 16 by nine. You can stretch it out to 16 by nine or just play in the native ratio of four by three. And honestly, everything looks really fantastic, actually. The games in progressive scan mode, which there's a lot of fantastic games that support it, Everything just looks really crisp, everything looks really clean, and you're able to really play your H your GameCube games via HDMI cable on your HD television, and it all looks pretty well. Your television, if you have a good television, will just upscale the picture for you, make it look good. So I have to say that hooking this, this up to my 65 inch 4K TV, the TV does a good job of upscaling the picture. I play in the four by three aspect ratio, and everything looks good and everything plays just as I would want it to. Another important feature that people will be worried about is that is there any input lag? And what I can say is I play with the original controller. I even have a wireless WaveBird controller. This is advertised to have zero input lag, and I agree. There's never any input lag that I that I feel when I'm playing platformers, when I'm playing Super Smash Brothers, when I'm playing any game that requires, you know, fast button inputs, which is almost any game actually. But, you know, I never experienced any type of lag whatsoever. Another issue that a lot of people might be afraid of is that there's been some talks out there of some other converters that have actually ruined the GameCube. This is my original GameCube. Like I said, I don't own a secondary GameCube and I've had this for almost two years. There has been some reports online of some people's GameCubes getting messed up, but I haven't heard much when it comes to the HD My Cube. And so far it's been completely perfect. I haven't had any problems with it. I haven't had any issues with my original launch edition Nintendo GameCube. And so, you know, I can, safely say that if you were to get the HDMI cube, I don't think you're gonna have any problems with your GameCube getting fried or just not working anymore or having any type of errors. So besides all the fun GameCube games that you can be playing, some of which are exclusive, like something like this is one of my go-to games. So this game actually was a remake of the original Metal Gear Solid, only came out for the Nintendo GameCube, has never been ported to any other system. So the only way you can actually play it is via the GameCube. This supports progressive scan and overall this is a fantastic game. So having a converter like the HDMI Cube, you can play some of your favorite games directly on your 4K TV, just as they were intended to be back, back in the day when you, when you had the GameCube on your regular CRT TV. But besides that, one of my main features why I enjoy having the playing on the original GameCube is this, this device right here. So this was the Game Boy Player. And this was a really unique device because you can play Game, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, as well as Game Boy Advance games. And again, just a plug and play. It goes onto the bottom of the, the actual Nintendo GameCube. Power, it's, it's being powered by the original GameCube. You put in a disc, you open up the software, Plug in your games and now you can play anything, Metroid Fusion, you know, the original Mario Brothers, any other Game Boy Advance games, Advance, Advance Wars, any other games that you were playing back in the day, Pokemon, you just plug it in and you're able to play it. So this basically opens up a whole library of games because now you have Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, as well as all the Nintendo GameCube games and all of that is made possible by this little guy right here. 
So honestly, despite the fact that I do have next generation consoles, I do genuinely really enjoy going back, playing some of my old games. I've never played Metroid Prime before, so I've been playing through that very recently as the new Metroid is going to be coming out. Actually, I never played Ocarina of Time before when I had the, the original um, N64. The first time I played Ocarina of Time was via this adapter hooked up to the GameCube via this disc right here. So that's how I played Ocarina of Time. And there's overall just a plethora of great fantastic games these are on the wii u as well so if you want to play them on the wii u definitely you can but if you want to play the original on the gamecube these are fantastic there's all this mario party i think there's four different mario parties that have come out on this one particular console overall i mean honestly you can't go wrong it's actually really fun to just kind of sit back and play something of the more simpler times in gaming and with the hdmi cube honestly there's absolutely no complaints when it comes to sound picture input lag or any other type of faultiness going on with your gamecube so what are my final thoughts if you're looking to play with your gamecube via its native resolution and the best quality that you can on an HDMI, either monitor, television. I really think the HDMI cube is something you should really consider. It's a very solid option and it's a very easy, cheap. It is the cheapest on the market, $89.99. Gives you the same quality as the more expensive adapters, plug and play solution. So I really think this is something worth looking out, uh, looking out for. I'll put a link to the website down below. Um, I do want to mention as well, I am not sponsored by these guys. I hardly have any subscribers, so I don't have any sponsors for sure. This is technically, this is really a product that I use. And it's just me kind of just talking about the fact that lately in 2021, I've been playing GameCube instead of playing my PlayStation 5, which is quite interesting. But Overall, I highly recommend this product. I think it's, I love plug and play solutions where you don't have to hook up to external power sources or anything else. You just kind of plug it in and you're able to enjoy your GameCube. And then if you have a Game Boy player, you have way more possibilities because you can actually play your GameCube games, your Game Boy games as well. So those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you guys been playing some like retro consoles lately? And if you are, tell me what you think about playing the GameCube as well as playing a GameCube via an HDMI adapter. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. So... That's that quick video just about the Nintendo GameCube in 2021. So until next time.